We are now just 28 days away from the return of NHL hockey, and for the first time in over 10 years, the Vancouver Canucks are heading into a season as legitimate Stanley Cup contenders. So, in other words, it's not cup or bust in Vancouver this year, it's cup and bust! While there does seem to be a general consensus among hockey analysts that the Canucks did improve over the offseason, one major question remains. What on earth is Rick Tockett and the rest of the coaching staff gonna do with the lines? Because I've seen Canucks fans sharing their ideas all over the internet, but what's interesting to me is nobody really seems to be on the same page. And I want to add to that mess by giving my two cents. So whether you're a diehard fan who watches every single game, or a casual viewer who only tunes in during the playoffs, or somebody who just wants a good team to cheer for next year, stick around because in this video I'm going to be hypothesizing what the Vancouver Canucks lineup might look like on opening night, exactly four weeks from today. But before I do that, let's watch this compilation of my favorite Connor Garland moments while I, for the final time, tell you a bit about the sponsor of today's video, HighRoller.com. HighRoller.com is a real money online casino boasting over 3,000 games including live dealers and popular table games like blackjack, roulette, and more. And they're offering an exclusive deal for today's first 100 subscribers. They'll match your deposit up to 2,000 Canadian dollars, but that's not all. They're also going to throw in 200 free spins. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video to get started. Signing up is easier than beating the Predators in the playoffs, and you can enjoy playing from anywhere on any device. But remember, you must be of legal age to play, and of course, make sure you always play responsibly. Now, let's take a look at these lines. By the way, I'm going to be using a website called Puckpedia to help me make this video, so big shout out to them for the work they do, and for coming in clutch when Cap Friendly died. That was huge. Anyway, starting with defense, we already know it'll be Captain Quinn Hughes playing the left side on the top pair. I'm not even going to explain that further, I don't think anybody with a brain cell is going to have a problem with that. But that's where things get a little bit tricky. The Canucks are still a bit thin on the right side of defense, it's a weakness they've carried over from last season. And if you watched my previous video, you know all about the stud they have marinating in college right now, Tom Valander, but he's likely a year or two away from being the solution, and the Canucks want to win now. So unless a big move is made or someone really surprises during training camp, I don't think they can really afford to play their two best defenders together. At least not right now, so I'm going to put Filipronik on the second pair. Tyler Myers and Carson Soucy had a lot of chemistry playing together last season, and I don't really see a need to split them up, so I'm going to slot them right here on the third pairing. But now we're left with two very important spots open and some interesting options. Here's what I'd do. Vincent DeHarnay is very much a defense-first defender who showed a lot of potential with the Oilers last season, particularly in shutting down opponents on the penalty kill. Considering Quinn Hughes has played well alongside similar players like Chris Tanev and Luke Shen, I see the potential for a lethal duo with DeHarnay. So I'm going to pair them together. Now, for the final spot, I'm going to be a bit controversial, because the easy answer is to slot in the newly signed Derek Forbort, but I don't love that idea. I think Forbort is better suited as a seventh defenseman. You know who I want to see there? Elias Pettersson. If you're confused, go watch my last video. I think this kid is going to make the team. I'm ready to be wrong, but after watching him in the World Juniors last year, I really believe he's going to be a solid NHL player. We might disagree on when he'll make the team, but how can you not be excited about this guy? So yeah, I'm going to have him playing with Hronik on the second pair. And I'd keep Forbord and Juleson up with the team as extras and then send Friedman, Wu, and McWard down to play in Abbotsford until further notice. Now, let's move on to the forwards. For the most part, I think we can all agree that JT Miller and Elias Pettersson will be centering the top two lines, and I'm not going to stray away from that, so that's where I'm going to put them. I'm also not about to split Miller and Besser up, so let's lock that in. And I don't think the team should be in any rush to split up the lifeline either, because for parts of last season, Dakota Joshua, Teddy Bluger, and Connor Garland were the best third line in the league. So let's lock that in as well. Now, we have 6 spots to fill and 10 players to choose from. Here's what I came up with. Starting with who I think will play on the first line alongside JT Miller and Brock Besser, I know a lot of you guys think it'll be Heinen or Hoaglander, and I like both of those options, but I think I agree with RP649 on this one. The best fit for that line may very well end up being Jake DeBrusque. I know he was brought in to play with Petey, but I just, I don't know, something tells me Jake, Brock, and JT are gonna find some magic together and it'll be hard to split them up. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm putting Jake DeBrusque on the top line with Miller and Besser. Now for line 2, or what really should be called line 1B, it's just Pedersen right now. Who's going to play with him? Well, I'm just going to get this out of the way now. I think it's going to be LeCaramaki. Huh? I think it's going to be LeCaramaki. What? I think it's going to be LeCaramaki. Bro, what are you saying? 
I think it's gonna be Jonathan LeCaramacki. Okay. Look, I know how premature this is. I understand. I know you're already typing your comments, but how could you not want to see Jonathan LeCaramacki playing alongside Elias Pettersson? And Nils Hoaglander. All that kid does is score goals, and all Elias Pettersson does is make plays. So, like I said in my last video, if you put them together, 100 goals in three games? Seriously though, I, I don't know if I'd call it a prediction, but I want Jonathan LeCaramacki playing with Pedersen as soon as possible. So I'm gonna put him there, okay? I don't care, sue me, I don't care. And while you're suing me, you might as well throw this into the case as well. I think Atu Ratu is gonna make the team. He had a great season in Abbotsford last year, and while he's not quite entering a make or break season, he's getting close, which I think will motivate him. He was also relied upon in nearly every situation last year, and I'm sure Rick Talkett's gonna love that. Fourth line center, let's do it. Hey, would you like a hard-nosed right-handed winger who you can play on your fourth line, who's good on the forecheck, will fight anything that moves, and can score the occasional goal? Yeah, I sure would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, like Kiefer Sherwood. Yeah, so Kiefer Sherwood, fourth line right wing. Lock it in. Now, I don't really expect Danton Heinen to be stuck on the fourth line, but it's hard to choose someone to move out of the top nine. Although I could see him switching spots with Hoaglander occasionally based on matchups and game flow. I'm sure he'll also get plenty of time on the penalty kill, so his ice time should even out. So yeah, this is what I think the Vancouver Canucks lineup could look like on opening night. I understand I made some pretty bold predictions that you might not all agree with, such as having Jonathan LeCaramacki and Elias Pettersson making the team straight out of training camp, but why would I make this video if I wasn't going to be at least a little bit bold, right? Also, if you take LeCaramacki out of the lineup and replace him with Daniel Sprong, I still think it's inevitable. LeCaramacki will get called up from Abbotsford at some point during the season, and I think he's going to play with Pettersson. But that's just what I think. I want to see what you guys think. So please, tell me what you think the lineup's gonna be in the comments below. I wanna see what you think the forward lines will be and what the defense pairings will be. And get creative, okay? It doesn't really need to be a prediction. And if you see an idea you agree with, make sure you leave it a like so we can push the best ideas to the top of the comments. Anyway, thanks to these wonderful members of the channel, AKA the Nuckheads, for continuing to support what I do by clicking the join button. Thank you for watching. I've got a special video coming out next week, so stay tuned for that. Bye. Uh, we'll go up. Vinny, uh, obviously, you know, we came up short of our goal last year. We want to go to the Stanley Cup Finals this year. What uh, what did you learn about being in that series this year? Um, JD Miller's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs>